Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We will be discussing about achieving a cinematic look, less so for overall storytelling purposes and more for uh, just the aesthetics. I say that because uh, true cinematography is more about the storytelling purposes and less about the beauty of the shots. But, you know, we'll be focusing on the beauty and aesthetics part of it. So let's get straight into it. Space between subject and wall. So I think there should be a noticeable distance between uh, the wall and the subject, you know, for that separation of background. Here's an example from uh, my short film, It Is What It Is. I noticed the couch was uh, a little too tight to the wall and I wasn't getting enough depth or separation from the background. So I moved the couch forward a little bit. You'll also see that I have like, a couple of lights pointing to the wall just to really establish that separation. And for the next one, backlight. If you watch most of my uh, my videos, especially the more relatively recent ones, you'll notice that a lot of them tend to have a, a light in the background. Maybe you can't see the light. Uh, there's a light right here, actually. Uh, maybe you can't see the light, but you know, there's a light in the back just to try to separate the background from the subject. You'll notice that, that I light separate You'll notice that I like separating the background from my subjects, and, and I really, I really believe that it, it just looks. Just try it. It looks nice. I don't know what to tell you. Empty walls. I think I think you need to reduce and try to reduce uh, the empty walls in your shots. Now, for for example, there's a there's a shot from. Uh, my short film, my cringy, cringy short film, I don't recommend watching it. The wall was just white and that's it. There was nothing on it. So I put uh, a picture, this big picture on it to uh, try to balance things out a little bit. It's still not the best shot in the world, but I think it came out pretty decent. I don't have a before picture or a shot or anything like that. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it when I say that it did not, it did not look good. Honestly, I think this is also partially about composition. Things, things like this, unless it's intentional, don't leave a vacant space just there in the shot. It's, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look very amateur. So if there's like a, a big space on one side of the shot, maybe fill it up with something or just move the camera. This is a, a bonus tip, but I think you should learn to color grade. I think that's very important. It's last and it's not really part of the video itself because, well, it's kind of uh, advanced. So, and this video is kind of like meant for beginners type of thing. But like, you know, just go watch a, a, a video. I might link, I might link one down below and um, just learn the color grade. I think it's very effective for storytelling and uh, overall aesthetics. So those were my tips um, on uh, getting more aesthetic vibe from uh, your videos and films and whatnot. And uh, well, if these helped you in any way whatsoever, consider subscribing or liking this video, maybe sharing it even. Thanks for watching.